Members of Congress introduced legislation to curb government waste, fraud, and abuse of utilizing the findings in government accountability reports. One America's Matt Shuck has that story from Washington. The Government Accountability Office is an independent agency that provides audit and investigative services to the United States Congress. It's here where we find out which government programs are effective and which ones aren't. But once a report is released, it's very rare to see any kind of change happen. But recently, two members of Congress across different political platforms came together to bring accountability back in a big way. Well, it's the Audit Act, and we've teamed up to try to find uh, the, the waste and the abuse in uh, federal taxpayer dollars, try to eliminate that, eradicate that, so we can be more effective and more efficient in how we govern and how we administer the programs uh, that uh, are governed by Congress. Arizona Congresswoman Kirsten Sinema and New Hampshire Congressman Frank Ginta worked through party lines and found one common interest, the American taxpayer. The GAO releases several reports a year, whether it's the effectiveness of the Affordable Care Act or assistance to farmers, no one disputes the thoroughness of the GAO. But rarely do the findings ever lead to action. That's what Cinema and Genta want to change. So our bill just says when that report comes out with all those hundreds of recommendations, Congress has got to take a look at that list and evaluate it. And we actually allow the agency directors to come in and say, yeah, let's get rid of that one or don't get rid of it for this reason. And it makes sense to me uh, to, to try to be more efficient on behalf of the taxpayers while also ensuring that the very programs uh, are, are properly administered and, and utilized in a way that uh, our constituents expect. Both legislators agree that government waste and abuse has gotten out of hand and that this bill will be a simple solution to saving millions of taxpayer dollars each year. Matt Shuck, One America News, Washington.